St. George's Castle or Elmina Castle, you see. St. George was their patron at that time. When the Portuguese jailed the castle, they named it after him. And because we are in Elmina, that's why we are here of Elmina Castle, Elmina Castle. Elmina is not the name of this town. The frequent supply of gold the Portuguese were getting from here, they call this place the mines. El Mina, El Mina, El Mina. The Portuguese also call this place Aldea. In their language, it means village. In Arabic, it means harbor or port. The word has been corrupted to Edina, which has now become the name of this town. The Sorry, original name of this place. That again. Say, what has corrupted to El Mina? <coughs> From Aldea to Edina. Okay, okay. Yes, it means village. Yeah, but in Arabic, it means harbor or port. The original name of this place is Anu Mansa. Anu Mansa, meaning inexhaustible water. Yes. In 1471, that was the first time the Portuguese arrived over here. When they came, they met the then king called Nana Kwamana Ansa. Based upon agreement, he released this portion of land, which was a temporary structure. So the castle was built in 1432. The main concept was that they wanted a place to settle and do their business in terms of gold, ivory, spice, and so on. The rooms on the ground floor were the store rooms. Later, the Portuguese changed the idea from wood to human tree. All the store rooms were being converted to dangers where captives were kept waiting for shipment. This castle is talking about 1,000 captives at a time, about 600 men and 400 women in every three months. 1637, the Dutch fought the Portuguese and took over the castle with the support from the locals. In 1872, the castle was no more important to the Dutch they were living. Therefore, they swapped their possessions with the English for land in Sumatra, Indonesia. In this castle, only the Portuguese and the Dutch they were here for the slavery activities. In 1948, this place was used as a police training school. So, as it now, the castle is 537 years. This is the biggest and the oldest castle in the whole of West Africa. And before the Europeans came, the Africans were having their own system of slavery. That was domestic type of slavery. Our common was an indentured servant, like a free man. A person who has the opportunity to own property, marry and give birth. All like the chattel slavery by the Europeans were different assets altogether. Now, as we said, captives of wars were given out as slaves. Criminals, thieves, debtors were sold out as slaves. Some towns and villages were raided by the Europeans. Some chiefs could not have collaborated to exchange on their servants for European goods. But let's ask ourselves, has it really stopped as of now? Yeah, it's still going on in a different dimension. Yeah. yeah. In Ghana alone, the Europeans built about 10 to 40 fort and castles along the coastal zones. 17 of them are still existing. Three of them are just World Heritage Site. This place. The white building on the hill for Santiago, the people's castle. There is a similar one in Senegal, the Gori Island, Zanzibar in Tanzania, Fort Jesus in Kenya, William Fort in Benin, two in Nigeria. We had a lot in Ghana. <music>
And because the captives were half naked, those who slept of the program used this stones and the floor just covered themselves to demonstrate with the chains around the house and the iron lamps over there. Because the tracing was not on the children, rather with the adult, but mistakenly, some of the people were captured while some of the babies are their back. Yeah. How often the ships will come. Buckets were placed at various corners where they were expected for them to ease themselves, those who present themselves. Not all the captives from Ghana. The mode of transportation as at that time was by foot. Those who made it here were very weak. During their second month of staying in their various rooms, some of them could not walk from the middle of the tent to where the buckets were placed. They did everything on the floor feces, urine, vomiting, blood, and they slept in it. There were no mats for them, that's the original floor they slept on. All the big entrances were closed with metal gates. The air from the small doors was not enough for those at the back. That was the other source of ventilation to them. It was even connected to a magazine. They were keeping their guns, gunpowder, chemicals in that room. In case there is a leakage over the descent, there's no street over here, polluted the air and killed them. <laughs> For the dead ones, they were tied to stones and threw them to the sea. So, how many years did it take them to build this place? The castle was built in stages. But initially, the Portuguese came with 600 workers from Portugal. They employed some of the locals over here. It took them two years for them to raise the face face of the castle. Later when they got the captives, that was the time they used the much expansion. Yeah. Most of the work here have been done by the Dutch. Among the Europeans, the Dutch spent longer time over here, 285 years in Almina. They chose this place as their eternal home. Even though the Portuguese were the first, they spent 155 years. Yeah. Uh, in this castle, the Europeans never came along with their families. They termed the coastline of West Africa as a white man's grave. Only men raised themselves come to this place. Some of the officers were sexually abusing the women over here. The governor would stand at the top, that's a balcony. He would then order the soldiers to open the doors for the women to be assembled here. Only a few of them. They would look through, then he made his choice. The one the governor had selected, or the chosen one, might have been in the dead for several months without cleaning her feet or taking a bath. They will get water from the reservoir. She wash down in the middle of the court here. They will turn it up before she made it pass through this side to the governor's bedroom. We go there. When the ships had arrived, some of the women were likely seen to be pregnant. They were separated. There is an instance over here. It may happen that the captives were pregnant before they came over here or by the officers. They were all given better treatment. Houses were built in the town for the pregnant ones. They were stayed there to give birth. Later, the children were brought back to the castle to be educated as the new officers. And that was the beginning of the formal education over here from 1529. Their mothers remain here as hooks, not as captives anymore. So we call them lucky ones. In 1637, the Dutch officers moved to the town. They customarily married the women over there and they had children with them. Along the coastal zones, we have so many European names over here Van Dyke, Van der Poy, De Heer, Duncan, Fresper, and the light color skin of the mixed black Africans. It brought about disunity among the Africans and the Africans themselves. 
divide, conquer, and rule. Per the records that we have one here, we are talking of 1,000 captives in every three months. In one year, we have about 4,000 captives, and the slave trade lasted for almost 400 years. Those who died in their various forests were not counted. Children too were not counted. Some history books estimate 20 to 40 million Africans were taken out of this continent. Yeah. The room at the back was just a store room for the branded equipment. Most of the captives were branded. Hot metals with the major names initials were placed here on their forehead or at their back. Many of them died after receiving the shock. Source of ventilation and light. The two windows were done later. Slave exits to waiting rooms. With the first gate, you take a step down, one step down here. Many of them were struggling with them. Some died out of that. Sometimes the chiefs and the elders from this community, they never come over here to perform some prayers, rituals, and so on. All these flowers at the back by our brothers existed from the diaspora in the memory of those who died over here. Uh, initially, the gate was very wide. At the time of gold, ivory, spice, and so on, was shaped like this. And later on, the journey, I did the human trade. They narrowed the gate to restrict movement. And about five or ten people were chained to each other. They were moving on a side ways, like this. The sea water was closer by then. Now it has receded. The ships will be at the shore before they will bring smaller boats to convey the captives into. Mm -hmm. 